sell this shit crazy. In my opinion, there are too many belts in boxing. I believe there needs to be one belt in each weight class. Then we can find out who the best is at that division. When I look at boxing, I see so many guys saying I'm the best. I am the best. And they have like four or five belts that we've never heard of. And I'm just like, wait, so there's a regular, there's a silver, there's a diamond. I mean, I don't understand why boxing has so many different belts. At the end of the day, there's only one champion. There can only be one world champion. There can't be two in each weight class. There needs to be one. One true champion. So I'm kind of getting sick of all these having to collect four belts in one weight class. I just wish that there could be one belt. Hey, I'll go with two. But, but four. Four belts in each weight class. I think that's a stretch. Guys can claim they're the best and then no and then not fight anybody. We saw Deontay Wilder have 39 fights. I'm gonna say 35 fights of just fighting nobodies. And only step up on his 39th fight. That is crazy. That's why I'm like, there should only be one belt in boxing. Because then there's no corruption. Then we know who's responsible for not making these fights. When you have a challenger calling out the champion, you all you got you got you know for a fact that it's those two who are delaying the fight. But when you have different sanctioning bodies, um different boxing controls and different just different people coming in, promoters, everything, it's just making it so confusing already. And then you have champions, you know, saying, you know, um, you know, it needs to make sense. Um, you know, it needs to, you know, like all these excuses. And it's like, if there was just one champion, it would make things a lot more clearer. And that's why I think it's better to have one champion than to have four. For example, Devin Haney is the undisputed um, champion at 135. So technically... With my um understand with my um idea of there being one belt, Devin Haney has the one belt, so he's the champion, so he's the man that everyone has to beat at one thirty five. So, therefore, everybody should be looking at Devin Haney as the man to beat. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be looking at Javante Davis. They shouldn't be looking at Ryan Garcia. Those are those aren't guys to beat. Those are just paydays. Now, Javante Davis is a good fighter. And Javante Davis definitely is, is, has the world champion. Um, he, has a, he has a skill set of a world champion, for sure. But as a boxing fan, it's kind of annoying if Javante Davis doesn't fight Shakur or David Haney next. Because I don't see anything... I don't see any fight, fight, fight at 135 for Javante Davis. And the same goes with Shakur Stevenson, the same goes with Devin Haney. And that's why it's frustrating. And you have, you know Keyshawn and Shakur are friends. So that fight is never going to happen. You know Jamel and Elwood Spence are friends. But Jamel has, has said a few times that he's willing to fight. But, you know, the likelihood of that happening is very slim. So... Imagine there was one belt. If there was one belt, they wouldn't be able to have you wouldn't be able to have friends in boxing because at the end of the day, you're trying to be a world champion. You're trying to be great in the sport, and it seems like boxing is heading into this direction where the belts don't matter anymore, and it's kind of sad now because if when Javante Davis retires. Because it looks like everybody at 135 is chasing him. Even I've even, I've even seen fighters at 140 call out Javante Davis, and it's like, you know, Javante Davis will die one day. We're all gonna die one day, 
And the only thing that's going to live on forever is the belts. So when I see, when I hear Ryan Garcia saying the belts don't matter, Ryan Garcia, you're going to die one day. I'm going to die one day. We're all going to die one day. You saying the belts don't matter is stupidity. Those belts you've never touched in your life. The belts that Devin Haney, the belts that Tyson Fury, Alexander Uzik are holding, Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, the best fighters from the 70s held those belts. And you, who has never even achieved a belt in your life, you're saying it doesn't matter. But now, I think boxing has come to a point where everybody's calling themselves a world champion. And it doesn't seem like anyone's actually getting it out from the mud, working hard to make a, to get to be a world champion. Seems like it's just easy. Seems like like I'm not like Joe like Jake Paul. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a belt in a few years time because they be creating belts like it's just like like it's like I don't know they just be creating belts as if everybody deserves one like they already have a new weight class called Bridgeway Bridgeway that's literally so you have light heavyweight cruiserweight then Bridgeweight Bridgeway. I mean, what is the point of that division? Why do we need a division called Bridgeway? Um, I can understand why people are not going in the direction of getting a belt because of the sanctioning fees. So as a fighter, why would you want to pay, pay for a belt that you earn? So I understand. So I can't be entirely mad at the fighter for not going in that direction. But then, if you don't want to go for the belt, then you need to fight the best, regardless. And if the best has the belt, then and you're not trying to fight the best, and you're not trying to get a belt, then what's the point of you being in the sport? Now, that's why I'm saying there should, be, there should only be one belt. Because if there's one belt... I'm sure the sanctioning fees won't cost a lot, but if you're paying for five, four different belts, then of course it's going to be, it's going to get long. I mean, that is something that we need as boxing fans to talk about. Why, why do fighters have to pay sanctioning fees when they've earned the belt? They've worked hard. They put in the, they put in the hours. They put in the sweat, the blood, the tears. They take their time. They take, they have to cut weight. They're basically killing themselves to make weight. And then they have to, a lot, with that, they have to pay for the belt that they earn. It's not right. There should only be one belt. Um, because there's so much confusion on who the best is. And I just want there to be more clarity. So many people call themselves... You can call yourself the face of boxing and still not fight the best. That's what's crazy. Javante Davis, as much as I like him as a fighter, and I think he's very skilled, and I think he's, he can punch hard. Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson are the guys you should be fighting at 135. And Ryan Garcia wasn't the guy to beat you. He wasn't the guy to challenge you. According to Javante Davis, he only had a left hook. He, only, he had no boxing fundamentals. And, Jav and plus, Ryan Garcia has never accomplished anything in the sport of boxing. So it wasn't really a challenge. But I know Shakur Stevenson. I know Devin Haney are world champion material fighters. And I know they're going to give... I know they're going to give Javante Davis a hell of a fight. But, you know, I have to agree with Devin Haney. He did add structure. I have to agree with Jam Jamel Charlo. These men that hold all the four belts are adding structure to the divisions. Because we don't need the WBO, the IBF, the IBO, the, the WBA, the 
you know, there's so many belts out there. It's kind of like, man, can there just be one person holding all the belts? Because when when it gets scattered, it's like um Dragon Ball Z, and it's like the balls are. Uh, you have to go find the balls, the Dragon Balls. It's like, like after you find them, eventually when that fighter retires, he has to he has to vacate the belts, and then they get scattered, and then it's like now you have to kind of like pick up one by one, find it one by one, and it's, no one's got the time for that. We just want one championship belt. Like let there be one belt, and if you get that belt. You can get any fight you want. If you want to fight this guy, you can fight this guy. But there, there needs to be mandatories. Guys who have earned the shot, who have earned the right to be fighting the champion. Like, we know Shakur Stevenson is a killer. And we know Devin Haney might not go in that direction. So Devin Haney might, you know, move up in weight. I'll not call out Shakur Stevenson because Shakur Stevenson don't have nothing to offer. But we all know Shakur Stevenson is a hell of a fighter. And we know Javante Davis might not be fighting, might not fight Devin Haney because he feels like Devin Haney, you know, doesn't deserve it or does, Devin Haney is not really worth his time. So... You have Devin Haney ch chasing Tank, and you have Shakur chasing Devin. And it's like, if Devin just stop and look behind him, he will see that Shakur wants that fight. And all Shakur Stevenson needs to do is apply pressure, speak to Bob, say, Bob, I want, I want to fight Devin Haney next, please, like anything to make the fight let's just get it done as long as you know how you know how much i like you know you know my my minimum wage you know what i'm willing to take give give me give my money and let's make the fight i want him i'll take a little bit less than i usually get but i know i can beat him so let's make the fight the fans want to see it but devin haney don't might not want to do that because he feels like he's earned those belts and he has an attachment. He doesn't feel like he wants to give it up to someone like Shakur Stevenson because he could lose. But that's the thing. If you had one belt, it would be like, it would be even, it would be like, okay, cool. You know what? It's, it's, it's hard to defend one belt, right? Because when you have four belts, when you have four belts, it's like, it's easy to duck certain fighters because you have more power you're pay you're paying the sanctioning fees and as long as you're paying the sanctioning fees you can kind of decide who you want to fight so i just think there's so much confusion with four belts as much as i respect devin haney and jamel for collecting the belts i just wish there was one because if there's one then you don't need to you don't need to debate who's the best at the at the division the guys with the guy with the belt is the best in the division. And then people like Jamal Jamal Charlo, you know, hasn't fought in two years and he's still holding on to the belt. So imagine if there was one belt and then you have Jamel Charlo, you have Jamal Charlo taking two a two year break. And that's the in that case then he would be forced to vacate. So that's why having one belt is better because Jam Jamal Charlo, because there's like four different belts in one weight class, Jamal Charlo can essentially... He can essentially sit and wait and don't have to fight nobody because he has no obligation to because there's three other belts. So no one's going to... But if there was one belt, Jamal, Jamal Charlo would be forced to either defend it or vacate it because the belts aren't going to wait for him. The, the fighters are not waiting there for him to get ready. Now, you have to be ready now. Let's go. I'm hungry. I want, I want my turn. So, it, I understand why fighters are not trying to go in the direction of the belts. But, but it's boxing. Like, you came to be great. 
you came to you came to show why you're the best and if you remove the belts from boxing then what's the point of boxing if boxing is just going to turn into a, a place where you fight the big names but not the guys with the belts then it's literally just youtube boxing we're fighting people with popular names we're fighting people with you know who has large followings but don't actually have any accolades so having one belt would be beneficial because Jake Paul has Jake Paul was offered a belt it wasn't the real belt but it was like they made some belt you know the WBC be making belts you know the WBC made a belt for Jake Paul to offer him and even he was like I don't deserve this so the integrity of boxing is is on threads you know what I mean it's on it's literally it's about to die if we don't get like a super mega fight and I think that super mega fight is Tank versus Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney versus Shakur Stevenson, Anthony Joshua versus Wada, Atta Betabia versus um, Bivol, um, Caleb Plot, I mean, Canelo versus David Benavides, Caleb Plant versus Jamal Charlo, Jamal Charlo versus Demetrius Andrade, Andrade versus Caleb Plant, Caleb Plant versus Jamie Mungia, Jamie Mungia versus Jamal Charlo. You know, they all need to mix it up. But that's a problem with boxing. So many big names, but no one, they don't want to mix it up. They don't want to have a go. Like the UFC, the UFC have been going strong. And it's crazy. Like, I don't see the UFC ever taking over boxing. But I definitely think people respect UFC more than boxing. Like you, you, you hear you hear fight announcement from UFC. You can guarantee that. Oh my gosh! Like this is gonna happen. You hear an you hear an announcement from boxing. Edward Spence is about to fight Terence Crawford. You already know that they're trying to sell you a dream, and you know why they're trying to give you that fight. It's because um there's an there's another fight lined up that they're trying to sell. You know that the Javante Davis fight. They were trying to use the Edward Spence and Crawford fight to to sell to to for people to oh maybe there might be a you know an announcement about Edward Spence fighting Crawford. They lied. They and they're gonna do that with the Tio Fimo and the Jamie Mongia fight, and they're gonna keep doing that until basically until un, until we're left dry with no money. You would think, yeah, when COVID nineteen happened. The promoters would say, well, we need to make the fights now. We need to make these big fights because if this lockdown happens again, you know, who knows how long boxing will take. But no, no, that didn't happen. That never happened. And um, it's crazy. It's, um, you know, I wouldn't mind having four belts in boxing but the problem is yeah you have four belts but they're not trying to mix it up you have one guy with three belts another guy with one and it makes sense for them to unify right but then the once the wbc uh, always does something to ruin ruin that or the wbc gives too much power to the fighter to not to not do to not up to not um complete the obligations of defending their belt or unifying so the WBC allows the fighter to like get away with a lot, like get away with like, you know, um, not unifying the belts. So that's why I have a problem with you know having four belts it's because one guy, one guy can be one in the fight and the other guy can just be like making it seem like he wants to fight, but in reality, he's just wasting our time. You know, he's just trying to in the media he's trying to give us that like oh okay i want the fight but you know behind closed doors he's doing everything to 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 jeopardize the fight and that's why having one belt is having one belt is better because um you either defend the belt or you give it up you know 
I wish the I, I don't know which um I think the WBA is the strict one, right? And if the if the belts if the WBC was as strict as the WBA, we'd be getting a lot of fights because the WBA don't play. You're gonna defend this belt. You're gonna give it up. We don't care. And that's why I, that's why I think Tyson Fury fought Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder rather than Joshua because he knew that if I fight Anthony Joshua and I beat him, I'm gonna have to, I, I'm gonna have to pay sanctioning fees. You know, to three different belts, and plus, I need to defend it all the time because the WBA don't play. Those, those guys will drop you quicker than a. They will drop you like a bad habit. You know. So. The WBC. You know, they're a bit more lenient. They, 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 they kind of like have that a bit more. Emp- they have more empathy for fighters. So, the fighters get to like you know, Ma- Ma- what's his name, Mauricio Solomon. You know, you know, he, he, he. As long as you can pay the man, listen. You can listen. You can fight Francis and Garni for all we know. You can fight and you can fight the average man on the street. We don't care. Just give us the money and and you can do whatever. You don't even have to fight a boxer. You can fight. You can you, you can fight a jiu-jitsu guy. We don't care. <laughs> we don't. They don't care, literally, and that's the problem. And that's why having one belt would just be better and being strict on that fighter. But you know, I'm looking at the UFC now, and, and and I see Leon Edwards. He has the belt now, but you know, I, I can feel him not trying to, you know, co- you know, do his obligation as a fighter and fight Kobe Covington. Now, UFC eventually will go go to that direction of not wanting to fight the best because I think the UFC is losing money because of the fact that they keep making the best fight the best and. That's why I respect it, because, but the fighters are not getting paid, so the fighters are eventually going to get sick and try to go to boxing, maybe. Try to make money there. And it's crazy how in boxing, you make you, the fighters make more money, but we don't really get the best fights. But in the UFC, in mixed martial arts, the best fight the best, but they don't get the pay. They don't get paid properly, which is a shame. I really hope that we can get rid of some of these belts because these belts, I think fighters are starting to realize I don't want to be paying sanctioning fees. I want to be a world champion, but I don't want to be pay- paying for the belts. You know, I earned the belt. Why am I paying for it? Imagine working hard for something that you earned and then being told that in order to keep this belt you need to keep paying for it you need to keep paying you need to keep paying and if you don't if you miss one payment we're gonna have to drop you and it's like you know what that's why the way they're moving tank i respect it i understand it but it's gonna get to a point where it's like bro javante even though you're going that direction at least try and fight shakur stevenson like that i understand why you don't want to fight devin haney and maybe in order to fight Devin Haney, Devin Haney might have to drop the belts. But, you know, Devin Haney adding structure to the 135 division. If he drops those belts, it's going to lead to more confusion. So, it's going to be, I don't know how this is going to, I don't know how the Javante Davis and Devin Haney fight will happen. I don't know. I know Shakur, Shakur versus Devin makes more sense. And I hopefully that fight happens before, you know, that fight happens before Javante Davis fights anybody. Because I want to see the winner of them two fight Javante Davis. And I think that would be the mega showdown. But I'm not too... I don't believe Devin Haney wants to fight Shakur Stevenson. Because Shakur Stevenson is a big risk. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think having four belts is beneficial for boxing? Or do you believe that having one belt would fix all of boxing's problems and we would get more clarity on who the best fighter is? Like, comment and subscribe. Be sure to like my videos. Um, Just hit that um, notification bell and subscribe. Jonah Goodman, 
I'm out.